Okay, Snow Kitty. Uh, pizza pepperoni win. What's this stuff? I ordered some things. Wow. Uh, <laughs> what's this? What? Oh, yeah. I ordered some chargers. They're frozen with my phone. Unboxing these. I have my lunch. Hi, Jessica P.S. Here. I have so many things coming. So I wanted to stock up before I go, like on things I needed, but I can't get there. Some chargers. Wow, what a difference a year makes, eh? This video was February 24th, 2023. So exactly a year ago today. She still had money. Like two days ago, she had just gotten paid through your YouTube payout or whatever, you know? She's buying Amazon things. She's like, you know, spending. She really wanted to, in her words, stock up on things before she goes. And now she's so broke. She's eating baked beans out of a tin. What a difference a year makes. Yikes. How many people are watching her now? Hold on. Let me reload her live to see. 464 people watching now with an open chat. Oh, sub only, but not members only, you know? Yikes. Because you can't order from Amazon. In Kuwait. Oh, so I ordered some socks, like some comfy black socks. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I have a new skin for my phone. A couple skins. A prayer dress. So I don't have to use my bio all the time. Hi, David. David. Oh, God, that hideous fucking, okay, prayer dress or whatever she called it. I hate that thing with a passion. I didn't realize that she had bought it here on Amazon. Wow. That's horrible, man. Horrible. Uh, the image of the cat on the sock packaging. <laughs> you know, it's funny to me that she owns two pairs of black socks. We just saw it. And yet, for no reason at all, every time she goes out, it's head to toe wearing black, including her shoes, except for the socks. The socks are always white. So where did those socks go? Deja vu. Like I just put it on because you have to cover up for prayer. Hi, Hannibal. A new selfie stick. A new stick like for my phone. Oh my God, hold on. How do I show you guys this? Or can you already see it? Hold on. We got a level six hype train emote. Wait, I'm clicking share. Share. There, I hope you guys can all see it. Oh, it's a B. That's the funniest fucking thing. A bee, because this is the intimate beezing setting. It's a freaking bee. Oh, 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 no. Those were her socks. Those were her feet. No. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a small animal cage for Howie. So it's like a fold out tent. It's going to go in the middle of the floor. For Howie. Um, and this is peach lip oil. It's supposed to be, hello, Trixie. You want to visit the Middle East? I cannot wait to get out of here. Hi, Sam. I'll be away from all the crazy stalkers. Uh -huh. One year later and the narrative hasn't changed either, eh? I'll be away from all my crazy stalkers. She wants a stalker so bad. Yeah, I won't be there. Um, nobody can touch me there. Nobody can touch me here either. I dare them to even try. But nobody definitely can touch me there or stalk me. You shouldn't say things like that ever. And I don't mean this reply to be any kind of like threatening way or anything. Word of advice, and I mean it from a genuine place. Chantal, when you are somewhat of a public figure like you are, and you have doxxed the absolute shit out of you and everybody else in your family, in your entourage, every place you've ever been, don't like gas people up like that. 
Don't say things like, I fucking dare you. Because there are psychopaths in this fucking community. I think we can all see that. There's a lot of crazy in this community. Your audience is crazier than many, like, or even Twitter, <laughs> you could say, you know. Um, I wouldn't dare lunatics to fuck with me in the way you do. I don't think that's wise at all. Me or be a crazy psycho. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> no, Allah will be in prison instantly if he tries to do anything. Instantly. They don't take that shit there. Actually, he's going to be in trouble as it is anyways more than one. So, yeah, Allah's in trouble. Like, I'm in trouble. Everybody's in trouble. But keep in mind that she was the one that for no reason and completely unprovoked uh, went on that horrible tirade about Allah and Allah's wife and all that. That was all her. But yeah, no, sure. Allah's going to be the one in trouble. She's so fucking delusional. Oh, the ads are playing? All right, no fries left behind. We wait. Ads time. <laughs> hey, secondhand stardust. Oh, the stupid ad. It's Okay, the ads are stupid, yes, but it means nothing because we wait. So, <laughs> nice try, Twitch. It doesn't work. Oh, wow. Ad time. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, Miss, this is the stream. You just put Missy Moo in the chat and it reminded me. This is the stream. If you guys remember last year, the night of the bloop stream, Missy Moo came into our chat and Missy Moo super chatted me. I had this screenshot. I forgot to even put it on the computer. Something like, oh, how could she do that to Tiny? Like BBJ, uh, reach out to me if you need to, um, like I'd like to pay BBJ's vet with you, whatever, reach out to me. and. I can't stand pissy poo. That'll never change, right? I fucking berated her ass, asked her to leave, asked her to leave, kicked her ass out and asked her not to come back, you know? So she's shunt by this group. And then the next morning in this stream that we're watching, Chantal is about to find out that pissy poo came in and super chatted last night. And what's, uh, what's pissy poo said? Oh, she was so mad. Oh, well, that's all I can say. So I talked to a oh sorry bagel buddy and anyone else coming in and you find the screen is black just like exit and come back in and it should work. Mine was like that too before we started. I don't know why. It's because we we've we've not twitched in so long. Twitch is like she can't be back. This is a bluff. A lawyer today. I have to call them back Monday. for having a look into this whole situation. And I'm going to sue the shit out of FFG. They look at her channel. They're like, this has been going on for how this long? Yep. This loser has been a parasite for years. And it's going to end. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> pot calling the kettle a parasite. Isn't it funny that the person who hasn't paid taxes in years and scooted off away from their two bankruptcies and can't even rent a place in their name and hasn't contributed shit to shit, milks their uh, free health insurance card like no one else, you know, I'm the parasite. Bitch, are you crazy? You must be crazy. Don't even answer that. I'm the parasite. What the hell would that make you then? <laughs> you are so pathetic, Chantal. Just keep stuff in your face. Or... Every single penny you made off of me, you're going to give it back. Bye. Excuse me? I must have misheard you. Let's just play that again. What the fuck did she just say? Hold on. Or every single penny you made off of me, you're going to give it back. Bye. You're going to give it back? <laughs> give it back to who? Google? YouTube? <laughs> Do you think that would go to you? Because nobody took it from you. There's no giving it back, you pathetic heifer. You made 20 grand a month during Crackhead Olympics. If you've fallen off, that's on you. Hmm. If there's anyone to give money back to, it's Google who paid it the fuck out. What are you, signing people's paychecks? Right now, the reaction channels are keeping you stuffing your face on your tins of baked beans and shit. Shh. Shut your face. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to give it back. She's so goddamn delusional. 
She, oh, she was so smug on this day. I love when she's smug and eating McDonald's. It's a wild combo. Actually, cat lover, you stupid idiot. Did you not see my community post? No, this is the thing. Nobody cares about the truth. They only care about hating me and proving me wrong. Stay mad, bitches. Because in those receipts, it showed that I offered to take her to the vet. So, suck it. She has Suck it. Pious Miri Ham again. This is well after she took the Shahada. Suck it, she tells us. Hey, Bambi. Ah, uh, Bambi. Bambi on Twitch. It always reminds me of the first day. What's she wearing? Everyone was saying she was wearing pants on her head. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but I like to believe that it was. So we're going to go with that. Uh, just for anyone keeping track, she's still live on YouTube right now. There are 454 people watching her live no right to involve herself if she asks and i say no it should end there the psychotic stalking because her nails grew too long is messed up so fuck you all goodbye hi a plus <clears throat> if i go off youtube for a can we side we can sidebar for a second because it's twitch and there's no stress or pressure over here let's sidebar for a minute about how much i've enjoyed the return of the anti-haters you know the antis like they used to be called <laughs> it's like a blast from the past even saying that. Um, Numbnut, peanut, H nod off nut. <clears throat> if you know, you know. Peanut last night was sniping our stream, our YouTube stream. And Peanut actually had the audacity to say that the cat, when the cat was rescued, BBJ, BBJ wasn't even that in a bad state. She was doing pretty well when she was rescued, like no need for the rescue. I haven't laughed that hard in so long, for real, for real. And I thought, ah, oh, there you go. I have missed that. The anti-haters that no matter what she does, they will always be on her side because people are mean. She could stand in front of you and shank you and still they would come up with excuses as to why she did it. It's the most ridiculous, laughable shit I've ever, ever seen in my life. Oh my God. Animal abuse? No, no, no. That's not a problem at all. The irony too, about when it comes from peanut, if you didn't know, hmm? numnut, pistachio, whatever the fuck she calls herself now. Why does she call herself something different now? Well, peanut had her original channel takedown. I'm sure a lot of people know that. Why was her original channel taken down from YouTube? And why is she now permanently banned from YouTube? Why? She used to be a reaction channel and she went so disgustingly hard at Amber and Chantal that YouTube removed her. Then she came back as John's pistachio gallery or uh, John's peanut gallery. Now she's pistachio. She used to go harder against them than the reaction channels do. Huh? <laughs> but she forgets that now because she flipped like a flip flopper to be their crusader full of shit. People who say like, Oh, at least peanut never flip flops. Peanut is the original flip flop. Her channel was the whole flip flop. She's a fucking idiot. So she's banavating. Yeah. That's why she never monetizes another channel. Gigi confirmed on his live that peanut is pistachio. If you know the voice, yo, 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 you know that it was pistachio. You know that it was peanut. You know exactly. <laughs> Hippo crit. Normal people fat. Her in her 3XL jacket, normal people fat. It's peanut. A month exactly. I should pizza. I'm going to be taking a break soon. I will, I will, I will actually be off live um, soon. Until I go, go back to Kuwait. I have things to take care of. Hmm. And another sidebar. And another thing. If anybody uh, hasn't seen on uh, Twitter, highly recommend you go over to That's Lindsay with an A's Twitter. She made an edit of... Uh, I don't know if you guys know. I'm sure a lot of you know. Uh, Peanut, Numbnut. Why do I call her Numbnut? Numbnut has the habit of nodding off, H nodding off on stream, on the regular. Like, it's not happened once or twice. This just happens with Peanut. It's like normal. 
Uh, so it's uh, that's Lindsay with an A took the sounds that Peanut makes while she's out of it and edited that with Chantal riding the little dune buggy when she had first got to Kuwait. And it is the funniest video. I, <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times lately I have gone back to watch that video. It will never not make me cackle. And her audience harassing me behind the scenes every little thing you do is helping her help me go against her so thank you the harassment she incites from other people is helping my case thank you oh. thank you jessica it won't be a month no i don't know how long it will be elizabeth but probably till i get back in kuwait and get settled in everything like that rhonda that number is not, I don't use that number. And anyway, I'm not going to have a phone, a Canadian phone in five days. So who cares? <laughs> you don't think I saw that my number was doxxed in my address? I don't give a shit. It's already doxxed. <laughs> who cares? Because if you're a person who calls strangers for no reason, you're an idiot and you're creepy. So we're not having an open house. I'm not going to be live streaming in public. in Canada. And hi, baby, you're awake. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were going to get up. <laughs> you had a nap, you had a headache. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so bad with like logins and passwords and bullshit like that. I, I, I saw you guys in the chat being like, oh, we can we watch that video after. And I was like, damn it. Can I get into my Twitter on this computer? So that's why I was silent. I was trying to get into my Twitter. I got into my Twitter. So let me find the video and we'll watch it. It's hilarious. So I don't care if my number, which is not going to be even relevant in a few days, is docs. Because I have my phone on do not disturb. So nobody, I don't. Actually, I just screenshot the nasty messages for my case and that's it. Stay mad, babies. Exactly. <laughs> I just need patience. This is teaching me patience. <laughs> Trash hater super chats, of course. They stay mad. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm so slow at doing this, but god damn, it's not easy for me. Okay, hold on. How can I do this? I have never shared the page of the Twitter. Hold on. Let me see if it's as easy as doing the rest. Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. I think this is going to work. Okay. Okay. Oh, can you? Yes. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is, again, that's Lindsay with an A from, that's Lindsay with an A's Twitter. <laughs> this is the best video I've ever seen. No, that is too fucking hilarious. I love that video. Anyway, if you want to watch that video on the regular, you got to go to that's Lindsay with an A's Twitter. <laughs> I love that. If you're feeling down or whatever, who we, who we. <laughs> oh, I'm going to bookmark that shit and keep it forever. All right, let me get the tab. Let's get back to what we were doing.
What do you think is going to happen? She's pushed to a limit that is like going to be trouble for her. So, hey, Modis, welcome to very important music. Ready, set, bees. Oh, okay. I'm going to do that. Animal abuse? Animal abuse? Do it. Phil, you moron. They came to check it out. They came to check it out. Twice, animal control. So that's on my side. Nah, I'm winning this one. Stay mad, bitches. Stay mad. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Thank you, Anaya. <laughs> yeah, I still get the money. No, uh, uh, she's not really sleeping. She's H nodded off. Mm? <laughs> anyway so monday i have to talk to this lawyer see if they can help me i um found a service that matches you with what you need so it's like mostly civil litigation i want to like sue this bitch so <laughs> ffg has created a hate chantal mob mentality it's gone too far and someone could get hurt and that someone can go to jail. How about that? Go for it. Like, what do you think? <laughs> you can't do fuck all. You can't do shit to me. What are you going to do? I'm gonna, not even going to be in this country. And remotely, I will sue you in every penny, like I said, that you made off of me being an asshole and a liar and causing all this shit in my life. You will pay for it. How's that working out one year later? Huh? You're stuck like a prisoner in a fart box in the sky, bitch. You, you're cooking. Baked beans out of a tin that you used as a doorstop, and it's two days after payday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, M-R-R-Y-2-K. Thank you for this. But thank you. Well, what's the matter with me? Forgive me. My brain is off. First time watching a live. I had a thought earlier I wanted to share. Muslims suffering from chronic illness or take medication are exempt from fasting. So why is diabetic Chantal even talking about doing it? Because she's playing Martyr Miriam. She wants everybody to think like, oh, she's going to do it and she's going to like suffer through it and push through and stuff. Nobody buys that she's doing it for multiple reasons. Her betis, the meds she takes, uh, the fact that she's like a death fat in one of the hottest places in the world. You know what I mean? She's drinking water during the day. We all understand there are plenty of reasons why Chantal should be ex exempt from fasting at Ramadan. And yeah, she's not the only one, right? It makes the fact that she lies about participating that much worse. Like you think we're dumb and then you also think we're dumb and we know nothing about, yeah, exemptions from fasting. And, you know, she just, ah, oh, she just, I don't know. I hate to be treated like a moron and Chantal always fucking treats us like morons. You will pay being super smug. Actually, the smug is so thick today. I hope it makes you extra mad. Mm, mm, mm. And you all did something horrible for BBJ. If you think she's better off with that insane soccer who chain smokes, every picture sent to me from BBJ about BBJ has been miserable. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Hilariously, the first couple of pictures where she had no idea what had gone on, she was like, oh, I, like, I'm so sad that I, she's not with me, but look how great she looks. She looks so well-adjusted. The second she found out about what had happened to BBJ, she, she always looks so miserable. She looks so sad. No, she looks very well taken care of, groomed, happy, well-adjusted. Stay mad, bitches. Say about drama? Um, Marilla, ready, set, bees. Welcome to Very Important Beezers. Make sure we have a private way to send money for this. <laughs> I don't know what money I'm going to need. A lot of lawyers actually only take money if they win. But some people have offered to help. So I might, I don't know, if I really need some kind of help money-wise because it can be expensive and you guys want to help, I'll figure it out, Rhonda. Thank you, Marilla. That's so nice. Mm. Hey, Mimi.
Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. They lied about who they were. They wouldn't have given BBJ to the. They didn't. Okay. They they didn't really say like I didn't ask. Are you related to FFG? Because I had no thought in my mind that she would be psychotic enough. When I say no, you can't have her. It should end there. But this. Oh, so what you're saying is that nobody lied to you, at all. Down the like along the way of you rehoming your cat, people said their names to you. People said their intentions of having the cat. Nobody lied. You just had no idea that there was any connection to me. So it has nothing to do with deception or lies or blah, blah, blah. It has everything just to do with the fact that there was a connection to me. That's psychotic. So don't say something. Well, they lied. Well, no, they didn't. But they didn't tell me that. They so random stranger has nothing to do with the internet. Ding, ding, comes to pick up the cat and goes, just so you know, I have, I have nothing to do with FFG. And you'd be like, oh, okay. She's insane. She did no due diligence. She didn't research at all research who she was given the cat to. Um, it, it's absolutely ridiculous to me. I don't know. The fact that Amy Flowers has been in her community and in, then in this community for that long and stuff. And it's not like another account was created to like deceive her or anything. No, from Amy Flowers' account contacted Chantal. You know what I mean? The whole thing was there and right above board. Chantal chose to rehome her cat to Amy Flowers. And I mean, the rest is history. Don't be mad now that you didn't think to ask, do you have anything to do with FFG? Stupid bitch went around and actually did this the roundabout way, deceitful way. Yeah. She's not, she's going to pay. Don't worry. She can, <laughs> the saying is so true. She who laugh, laughs last laughs best and hardest. Watch. Yes. Watch, watch. Who's laughing? You can do whatever the hell you want to me. I'm not gonna change. No. <laughs> I don't know. What do, what do you mean she gave money to FFG? I don't know. I don't care. Oh, oh, oh! That's pissy poo. That's someone in her chat letting her know. Hey, pissy poo went in and super chatted FFG last night. I don't know the deal with what's going on with Missy Moe. I never, I haven't heard anything. Basically, anyone who is dramatic or brings drama in my life in the chat, the video of you walking is proof that people are literally stalking. Exactly, literal stalkers. Okay, but what what did the super chat say? I don't know. People are like, she super chatted FFG, but won't say. Trixie, yeah. Jamie, I'm not surprised, but also like who, like, who the fuck cares? You know what I mean? She really wants, she's got that, what they call, the kids call these days, the main character syndrome. No one gives a damn. The only reason I even felt the need to like tell you guys what had happened was that she was so vocal in our goddamn chat and had been a mod for a long time. So of course her absence was going to abs absence was going to be questioned, right? Like no one fucking cares. The fuck is red, you know? I don't trust anyone except my husband in this whole like at all, period. I don't. <clears throat> I don't know, babe. If it's true, I guess we'll see. Oh, and, and here's a non-rumor, okay? She's a racist in multiple ways, multiple instances, very, very different instances. Hmm? I don't really give two shits what a racist has to say. Well, all of this, these things she does are going to go against her. I hope she knows that. She thinks it's funny for a laugh. All of it, she's going to be paying for. <sighs> mm. So, 
Why can't I do what to Tiny BB Joe? I did nothing to her. Her nails grew too long. She cries if you... That's why I don't cut her nails myself. No matter what, she screams whenever I try to cut them. I've said this many times. They are just... Well, then either you were trying to cut nails that had already grown into the pads of her feet, because yeah, she yelled when that happened, or you were rough with her. Because she has really, or had, I should say, long before the Silencia. Right now, she's very spry. But at the beginning, how did they find out that she should start the Silencia? Because they did like a physical, just moving of her arms and legs and all the joints. And they saw like how objected she was to moving and like how stiff it was, right? So you were probably extremely rough with her, just grabbing at her feet and being the pig that you are. And it probably hurt. So she screamed. The cat the cat. BBJ does not scream just getting her regular nails trimmed when they're not grown into the pads of her feet. Doing this. And I offered, I said I was taking her to the vet to get it taken care of. You should have taken her to the vet before Kuwait. Her nails were fine. She was fine. Again, more false outrage. You're not going Lies. to tell me what to do with my pets. She was fine. I took her like six months before that. Give me a break. And before that, I never took my pets to the vet barely unless they were sick. Ever. Never got shit for it. The whole five years I was on you on uh, YouTube. And that was a no, because you know what? A lot of people function like that. It's fucked, but it's true, right? A lot of people don't take their pets to the vet unless they're sick. Fair. When they're young. As soon as a pet becomes older, even those regular visits, they come more regularly. You know what I mean? It's it's more often. That's what you do with an aging animal. You get them checked out. You never bothered. You, you didn't even know what was going on with your elderly cat. You could not care less. Jesus. I know. When she keeps saying the false outrage, the false outrage, it, oh, God. You find out the night before that she's an animal abuser. But yeah, that's completely false outrage. The problem? I don't care. Keep your outrage and shove it up your ass. I really don't care. Hate me all you want. I don't care. I miss you. If you did do that, I don't give a shit what you think either. You can eat shit. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Face dragon. She not only offered the money, she sent her the money. And the, the note in the super chat attached was, take the cats to the vet. And because she was cracked out of her mind at that time and just trying to bring in all the money for the drugs and the rents and this and that. It was, yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank you. I will. <laughs> and then no. And then started fighting with everyone. And you can't tell me where to spend my super chats and blah, blah, blah. But when she accepted that money on that night, it was, oh, thank you. Of course, I'll take her to the vet. Because you're fake. You don't, like, seriously? I can't believe people. Mm-mm. Oh my god, this community sucks. Messed up. Oh, damn it, Gen T. I'm sorry. I'm so bad at keeping track on this. I forget that we're on Twitch because it looks the same to me here, right? Thank you so much for gifting the sub. It's very nice of you. Crap for potentially bringing BBJ to the vet. You filled in the blanks with hatred and outrage. Oh, she's going to euthanize BBJ. Meanwhile, your stupid toothless mouth did the same. We filled in the blanks on that. It wasn't for weeks, her live streaming and making comments about like boxes and bags and wood chippers and then, no, no, no. We filled in the blanks on that. The nerve of this woman. The blanks with hatred and outrage. Oh, she's gonna euthanize BBJ. Meanwhile, your stupid toothless mouth did the same thing to your dogs. So get a life, you hypocrite. And I hope, I hope, I hope I sue the crap out of you. I hope you save some of that money. I save it all. Every single YouTube dime. Can't relate, can you, bankruptcy? Anywho, it's funny that she would call somebody a toothless mouth. I have every tooth in my mouth that God intended us to have. Where's all your back teeth? Where's your back teeth? Where's your husband? Hmm? Just keep stuffing the McDonald's in there. I hope every last tooth falls out of that mouth and then you can't chew. Then you're having fucking Big Mac smoothies for the rest of your life. I've seen cats scream at the vet just by vet tech touching them. Exactly. Exactly. 
immediately animal abuser what kind of stable person no unstable person messages people to accuse them of being an animal abuser like get a life there's actually animals being abused and hit and everything else the chain smoking is abuse to your dogs shoving pills down their throat is abuse to your dogs you abused your dogs you are projecting you're a loser baby yes me me getting um ollie his um fucking kidney medication <laughs> when the vets didn't tell me it was the end or anything, it was like, no, you're going to prolong him like this. Cause besides the kidney, he's motherfucking good. He's so strong. He's great for his age. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, it wasn't a dog on death's door that you're trying to prolong and prolong and prolong. That's ridiculous. Chantal. Absolutely ridiculous. You would have done that though. I do believe you would have done that, but you wouldn't have even gotten the cats medicated. Here's how I see things playing out had you not given away the cats. You would have kept those cats in horrific conditions. They would have been eating nuggets off of wet cardboard on the carpets until the day they died. Uh, you would have never taken them to the vet. You would have had no idea at the end how long they had been suffering in pain and of what they were even suffering from. You would have no idea. Right. Just like Timbit. Exactly. So. Talk about my dogs and the, the suffering that they had at the end because they were being medicated for the problems that they had. You get medicated for your problems. A betus, a sugar foot. <laughs> When's your euthanization scheduled? Because at this point, isn't it cruel to, to just prolong the inevitable? <laughs> That's cruelty. I'd say we end it. If you have to take a pill, Chantal, based on what you say yourself, maybe it's just time to end it. <laughs> Mama, I have to go to the police station after. I'm not going to give up. Yeah, and that's a good, and another thing. That's a great point because after she had the audacity to say that, people started pulling up pictures all over Twitter of her with joints and stuff sticking out of her mouth while she's like hugging the cats. Their, their little cat heads are smushed up next to hers and she's got joints dangling out of her mouth. So tell everybody again about smoking and how it's cruelty to an animal because you were doing it right in their faces. Right? Just remember that. It still adds tabernacle. When Twinkie t Twinkle Toes became Sugarfoot. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it... Timbit lived in a literal prison cell. Yeah. A filthy, horrific end of life. There's nothing you can say. And you can't convince me, seeing the way Timbit lived, that that's not exactly what would have played out for BBJ and then eventually Sam too. No. Oh, she'll try and argue that weed is like worse than cigs. Well, she does both. So who is she to argue? And then slap a shisha and some vapes and, you know, the meth pipe on top of all of that. Nah, she should just shut the hell up. Hmm. I wouldn't let it just go this time. It will only get worse. Let's remember Christina Grimmie, who was killed by a stalker fan. I'm not giving up. But I'm also not going to let it interfere with my life and happiness. So <clears throat> it's one more thing I have to deal with, yes. Where Lolo, does anyone have that picture of her in the disguise? If they could email it to me, that would be so appreciated. Everything is, she's digging herself. She's too, her and her audience are brainless. They're morons. They don't get it. No, I don't watch that, that chubby leprechaun, Phil. I don't That's so rude. Uh, uh, this, I didn't know at the time. And since the whole BBJ rescue and stuff, you guys, I remember the night that you guys explained this to me. You fucking exploded my head with this one. That Timbit could have been vaccinated for what she had. And then the other two cats could have been vaccinated. And all the cats could have intermingled together. The whole thing about, oh, they had to keep uh, Timbit separate. I assumed... That it, like there was nothing you could do to bring them together. I had no freaking idea. I know nothing about cats like that. No idea that all it would have done uh, taken was a trip to the vet and all the cats getting vac uh, vaccinated. It oh, it, it makes me hate them that much more.
that poor cat lived out such a horrific end of life and there was no need locked in that room. There was no need. At least they could have had two friends roam the house. Not that the house was anything to speak of. The whole place was fucking filthy, but better to have the whole house than to just have Pete's room. It's so mind meltingly sick to me. I don't care what he has to say. I don't care what he has to say because he talks like this and he gets on my nerves, quite frankly. I just think if they pulled up five nails and have texted it with no sedation, it wasn't that bad. They don't do it with sedation. Yeah, exactly. No, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. No, they don't know. This is an unknown cat coming into the clinic. They don't know her medical history. They don't know if she can wake up if she's sedated or if she's allergic to anything. Nobody knows a damn thing at that time. This was an emergency appointment that they fit her in, thank God for. So they out or they weighed the benefit and the risk and they did it and they knew they told me ahead of time it was going to hurt her but the relief she would instantly feel was going to be worth it and so they tried the first one and yeah there was yelling and stuff but she was okay so they kept going you know slowly they kept going and it was done don't sit there you know fuck all about fuck all Chantal. yeah yeah exactly yeah exactly listening to the idiots that are left in her chat because i do believe anybody at this stream that we're watching which was the the next morning now we've all just found out she's an animal neglecting animal abuser right anybody who was left in her chat like that the next morning gassing her ass up you're as sick as she is and if it wasn't just for drama and views you piece of crap then why whenever i asked you do you see in the receipts i say and then she's like, no, don't worry about it. My sister will take her to the vet. Yeah, FFG gladly will. Even though I said I would before the cat was picked up. Just for drama and views. It's really pathetic. Anyways, I'm glad you made a lot of money off of this situation. Exploding my cat because you're going to be giving it back. <clears throat> Again, she says giving it back. Giving it back to who? Google? YouTube? I don't know who you think it's going back to, but it never was with you. Never, ever, ever, ever. You did have a time, though, where you made 20 grand a month. Don't be mad that it's over. Be mad that you fucked it up and fumbled that bag gloriously. Did garlic bread went to Victoria's Secret yet? <laughs> yeah, apparently he takes his mom shopping at lingerie places. Loser. And just breezing, you beat your grandparents, so shut up about me, okay? You beat your grandparents. You shoved your elderly grandparents, your piece of crap, and you have the nerve to come after me with your self-righteous crap. All of you need to take a look in the mirror and get a life. You can't expect someone with mental health issues to care for their pets needs 100% of the time, which includes pissy and FFG's euthanized dogs who inhaled chain smoke all their lives. Exactly. BBG's nails overgrowing because I was away and because she's elderly and they grow longer. It's not animal abuse. Get a life. That alone, the nails alone, because you confirmed twice last night during your stream that you knew and you had been told by a vet you knew that the nails would grow long and grow into her feet uh, and it had happened before. That alone would have been animal abuse, but that was far from the only treatable, preventable ailment. Hey, eh, Chantal? So <laughs> nobody knew, though, on this morning or last night or whatever, a year ago, you know, nobody knew exactly what was going on with BBJ except for the nails and the poo, the the fur mats at that the the, sh the shit, the her butt and stuff that was like matting poo against her ass and could have been dangerous. That's all we knew at this point. Honestly, how do you even spend twenty grand a month and have nothing? Drugs and other assorted addictions. actually grow up oh 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 and another one and being so narcissistic that you really think that it'll last forever even though everybody knows you're like if you're lucky enough let's say to get popular on youtube or popular on whatever it's for a moment you have your little 15 minutes right so you try to do something with that time and no she's so narcissistic just like lushy we say this all the time about lushy same fucking thing they think they'll be the exception to the rule because of course they are it's me it's chantal it's me it's alicia it's a no 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 <laughs> mm. 
<clears throat> circuit. What? Hell yeah, asked Shani and Rev. Same thing though, right? Assorted addictions. Drugs and assorted addictions. It all kind of, it comes down to the same. If it's not that, it like, well, yeah, it would fall under assorted addictions. Now, you know, it's like the hot thing. The fucking gambling. I could go on a whole tirade about these schmucks, these streaming schmucks on kick. And they gamble like all day. That's their content is gambling. So these little kids are following these streaming schmucks. And now they think gambling is cool. So now everybody's going to have gambling addictions and shit. Uh, the money, you burn through the money real quick and you're gambling too. But that does just fall under the assorted addictions. Circus baby. <laughs> what ready set bees? Welcome. She legit has an, oh. And you don't get a whole charge just from shoving somebody. You had a whole charge, elderly abuse. And you have the nerve to talk about me and my cat? Really? Mm hmm So just breezing has the nerve to talk about my cat care. Grow, overgrown nails versus beating an elderly person and giving your child away because you're a drunk. Okay. Rosie. <laughs> Actually, McDonald's is halal. No, Kuwait is not postponed. It's a situation being handled behind the scenes. Don't show the cards. That gives them a heads up. Now she learns that the day after the BBJ thing. Exactly. In life, don't show the cards. Don't show the cards till it's done. <laughs> Some of these reactors, Breeze and FFG, are scary, violent, abusive against Chantal is the one in the wrong. Yep. Oh, only by people who don't matter. So who cares? So, I think I have a case, don't you guys? <laughs> Modest. For stupid audience, emphasis on the word stupid, I think that FFG really saved the cat. They don't know at all what she care is. The yeah, it's just for content money. Soon she will kill the cat. Just well, look at it this way. Had she gone through with her plan on, what, February 23rd, 2023, BBJ would have died. She was going to be euthanized. Here we sit, February 24th, 2024, and BBJ is doing much better today than she was last year on this day. So stay mad, baby. Just like how she killed her dogs, two in a year. <laughs> it's true. I need to save her from euthanizing BBJ. <laughs> Meanwhile, you euthanized your dogs. I, I can't get over how people don't see that hypocrisy. It's ridiculous, but who cares? God, she's such a fucking moron, LA. It so doesn't even affect me anymore. Look, all these dog, my dogs, my dogs, my dog comment. It goes right over my head. Now, I don't, you you overplayed that button, Chantal. Come on. First, the only people that need to see it is the judge. Everyone else can kiss my fat hand. All right, let's try this new lip gloss. No, 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 no. Oh my God, I'm, I do the exact same thing. <laughs> Everything I buy, I work it out to how many hours of work did this item cost me? And I sit back always and I'm like, is this worth, let's say, I don't know, four hours of work, six hours of work? Nah, that's exactly how I judge things too. It smells like crap. What a waste of money. Oh, it's a collagen lip gloss. Ow! Oh, this is true. You rescue BBJ without one care at what the community's reaction would be. That goes a lot deeper than just the BBJ rescue. I do everything without one care of what the community's reaction will be. I could not care less what their reaction is. Eh. I can feel it burning. Ow, ow. Soft boo-boo lip oil. What the heck? I don't know. Do you guys like it? Some, uh, I think later we're going to make some... I have some dates. I have some... Where is it? Babe, some of my order came in. <laughs> my prayer dress. And Howie's playpen for Howie! <clears throat> okay. And we're going to make energy bites. So this. 
Kayla Jello, I'm not surprised she admitted to the sub for something. She knew she had to. Listen, she's all over Twitter. She sees what we all see. She knows like everybody knows. What was she going to deny it? You know what I mean? At this point, she's too cornered to deny it. Is shredded coconut unsweetened? Yeah. We have some almond butter and dates. Oh, I forgot the oats. <laughs> Take care, Cougarelli. I don't blame you, girl. No. Darn it. Can I make them without oats? No, I need oat flour. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Okay, I'll be sure to get some oat flour. Howie! He doesn't have a ball. I'm still mad that people don't look past their dislike of you and are acting as if FFG and her pig sister-in-law have done something good. They're spiteful. Jack, you make so much sense. Honestly, you and Bloxillion. Everyone else is just... No, you guys all all here too. I'm just saying, you know. It's really, really, really... I know, but I need to... I don't have oats. Oh! I do have oats! I have a huge bag of Quaker oats! Okay, good. We can make energy bites. Exactly. <laughs> This is what happens when you have a dingleberry like FFG hanging on every little thing that you do, causing false outrage and everything gets hyped up. And then these people, brain dead people, come after you. Anyway, FFG posted a pic of her disguise because she was really only doing it for views and her obsession. <clears throat> no, I posted the disguise because I thought it was fucking hilarious, to be honest. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I don't care. <laughs> Exactly. FFG said a long time ago that she's okay being the bad guy, the asshole, the schmuck, the bitch, whatever you want to call it. Frenchie's big enough and ugly enough to fend for herself. Tread lightly amongst the Scorpios. I just, listen, listen, true. I don't fucking care. I've been watching this community a long time. And that's why when I came into it, I was like, I want nothing to do with anyone else. We're over here. This is my own little island. I don't follow hater nation's rules. That's why I don't call myself a hater. I don't follow Kiwi Farms fucking rules, Reddit's goddamn rules, the Twitter bitches rules. I don't care. We do whatever the fuck we want to do. It is what it is. Always have, always will. <clears throat> she's admitting to the stalking and harassment then, which is she's going to be, don't worry, she's being sued. Don't worry. <clears throat> what karma? <laughs> you think that she's not going to get karma? What karma am I getting? No, I'm still happy. I'm still getting everything I want in life. Nothing has changed in my life. Nothing. Nothing. Except that I'm hiring a lawyer and suing her. So what, what's changing that I'm getting my karma? I know you're all waiting for me to get my downfall, like some weird, weird idiot losers. But it's not going to happen. What are you talking about, Delulu? We have been watching you slowly getting your karma or whatever you want to call it in little bits for years at this point. Hmm? Look at the last two months alone. Look at all the literal shit. I, well, the shit you're eating. You're not eating it. And that's the problem. Look at all the crap in the last couple of months alone. Do you think anybody believes you're happy? Do you think anybody doesn't see that you're living karma piece by piece? Miserable existence. A death fat who can barely walk and is almost homebound, which works anyway because you're like a prisoner in a fart box in the sky. On the other side of the world, alone, where's your husband all day? Girl, stop it. Stay miserable. I'm a lawyer and I need for you to read everything. What do you mean, Tanya? <laughs> Goodbye, little scrappy. You can help me, Tanya? You're a lawyer, really? I actually have a lawyer, but, um, bye. I am a smug bitch. Stay mad. I love it. <laughs> she can't be a YouTuber. She can only be a hater forever. Um, Tanya. <laughs> Again, what is there to be so smug about on this day? And I love that. Well, I have a lawyer, but Tanya, you can help me. Tanya. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you have a lawyer. <laughs> is a lawyer. Speak with Tanya. Tanya, speak. <laughs> Tanya, okay, what is your advice? Give us your legal advice here. I have a lawyer already looking into it. Like, they're going to take the weekend to review all of this case. They're like, oh my gosh, there's so much to unpack. He's like, it's been going on for this long. It's like, wow. It's like, so she just basically just uses your content and then craps on you for this whole time? Yeah, basically. <clears throat> yes, that, that sounds like what a lawyer would say. A lawyer that you barely spoke to 
looked at the channels and came to that conclusion. Girl, stop it. You're making a fool out of yourself. Oh, my God. I love that she's done this to herself. I love that for you. She doesn't even realize it yet. <laughs> um, no, I didn't say I was going to sue Nadusi. I was going to charge him, but then I dropped the charges. You guys know why already. I don't want to go over that in the past. I know you guys love living there, but okay. So Did she just call Koki Nadusi? I mean, I love it, <laughs> but with her own logic, isn't that her being Islamophobic? It is a Arabic name after all. <laughs> Nadusi. <laughs> what kind of lawyer would say that? Lionel Hutz. <laughs> That's who. So with FFG, I went and saw a couple of things. One, you can sue for defamation. And two, the most important one is that you can stop FFG from talking about you completely as by sending her an NDA. What? <laughs> That's not how that works, lawyer in the chat. No, you can't just send FFG an NDA and it automatically means that I stop talking about you. I'm going to wipe my ass with your NDA. NDA is non-disclosure agreement. Why would I sign a non-disclosure agreement, you fucking idiot? I think the lawyer who's clearly not a lawyer was talking about a cease and desist. But here's the thing about your cease and desist. I would wipe my ass with that thing too. Doesn't stop me from talking, bitch. Mm -hmm. No one's afraid of you taking anyone to court. I fucking dare you, okay? I would literally wipe my ass with your NDA, your cease and desist, or anything else you'd like to send. Uh, and another thing, uh, Tanya, the imaginary lawyer, uh, defamation is very, very difficult to prove in Canada. This isn't the States here. She's Canadian. I'm Canadian. That's the Canadian legal system. Defamation, very, very different in your country and mine. Just saying. Good luck, Chantal. <clears throat> oh really tanya thank you pinkfish then don't call out people you don't know if you don't want problems get it <clears throat> stalking is not taken i'm not going to give up like i definitely have a case if you yeah, no shit, Langella. Uh, I think after she said that little sh shtick about the uh, NDA, everybody found out she wasn't a lawyer. <laughs> you know who it probably was? Remember that Nadia freak who stuck her head into Chantal's car that day? And then was like offering to clean her house when she needed a cleaner. Well, now she needs a lawyer. Well, hello, I'm Tanya the lawyer. It's Nadia the freak. If you look at all of her, what she's done versus what I've, I've done nothing to her, actually. Nothing. Not a single thing. So all of this is going to come right back and smack her with her own fupa right in the face. You have never stopped. FFG showed up at her house, showed up at anything. She has crossed a line so many times. Her viewers are so weak, weak, weak. The in-laws, baby mama, they'll be dealt with. It's really nice that you're involving your whole family because they're going to be in shit too. I love it. You come for my family, I'm coming for yours. Don't worry. Legally, of course. Unlike you, you're a scrimy little friggin' toad. What is she talking about? Who came for her family? You're insane, Chantal. You're the only one who plays those dirty tricks. You're Anyone is capable of doing it, but you're the only one who does. <laughs> I love living in my past. I hate it, and I can't wait to leave here. Once I'm out of here, goodbye. Who is LARPing as a bedbound woman? What? <clears throat> oh, yeah, her sister-in-law. Like, just completely, like, it's pathological to play, act like that. And then be like, in the meantime, have a whole other agenda behind the scenes. You think that it's funny. It, it's like funny. Ha <laughs> ha, we got a kicks, we got drama, yay. Like, grow up, seriously. You should all be ashamed. And the only one paying for all of this is going to be UFFG, don't worry. I don't understand how YouTube allows all these reaction channels who bully other content creators and take it too far. There's a thin line between criticism and harassment and bullying. They literally don't care. They don't care. It did really age well. Every time there's like her threatening me and stuff, I'm sitting here smiling. She's such an idiot. Oh, one year later and what's she doing? She's not even thinking about one year ago. Although when she wants to get mad and take out her rage, she thinks about one year ago. But this is not on her mind. It's her fake husband and all the shit that he's caused that's on her mind. It's just, you know, she's an abusive person. It's just she takes it out on me. But right now on her mind is just Cunt Bella and Scatman and all those texts every day. And she's wondering, who's he with now? What's he doing now? <laughs> Why won't he love me?
<clears throat> exactly. You can't press charges without there being evidence of him doing something. So I believe you did get abused. Actually, it's not that it's not that it's that like I even showed the email correspondence with the detective. Um, I was like, I want to drop the charges because like I was still had feelings for him and I felt bad and he, you know, would lay on the guilt pretty thick. That's not true. Sorry, not sorry. If uh, if you had gone to the cops and said that literally you were in, an in a relationship and you were being abused and yada, 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 all the stuff she did, okay? And then you contact the detective after the fact to be like, no, you know what? I want to drop everything. I still have feelings for them. And that's the reason you give for wanting to drop everything. You know, part of the reason that they give, um, what do you call it? Conditions when there's domestic things in Quebec anyway, I'm going to speak for Quebec. Okay. When there's domestic things, domestic DV and things like that, they always give conditions that the two people aren't allowed to contact each other, aren't allowed to be together, da, 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 because it takes so long to go through the court process. Their end goal is to actually break up the toxic couple. Social workers have confirmed that theory to me. I had this theory, you know what I mean? And yeah, that is the end goal. It's a major part of why they keep that condition until the last appearance in court. They hope to God that this toxic couple breaks the fuck up. Here's what they don't do. If you go in and you say the things she did on a statement and then you contact them back and that's your reason for not wanting to proceed, just I still have feelings for that person. They, that's when I, I said it then, and I'm going to repeat it now, the crown takes over and it becomes not you versus that person, but the crown versus that person. The crown here is the, the court. We call it the crown, right? Um, They will proceed, go forward in court against that person. They're not just going to, oh, well, you still have feelings for them? Okay, let's just drop everything. That is not how that works. They're trying to break up the toxic couple. So the fact that they chose not to pick up those charges and go ahead against him, the crown versus El Shami, right? Uh, is confirmation that what she wrote was so uncredible, non believable, and probably fabricated that even the system, even when he has a criminal record, they didn't see a point in going forward with it. That says everything you need to know about what was written in those charges she wrote down or that statement she wrote down. That time period is a huge holiday in Greece. FF Grifter, instead of celebrating and partying, she's creeping on Chantal. Pathetic. Just like on Valentine's Day, instead of spending time with your man. Who's your man? Your brother? Like, your brother's your man or what? Like, <laughs> I, I... No, Funkle, baby. That's not how it works in most people's families. I would believe it. The haters are so overconfident. Yeva lost her case and their sheep followers were so sure she'd win. It'd be the same with FFG. Exactly, Jack. Exactly. Exactly. Um, when it comes down to everything, it comes down to the law and the evidence is there. She's like literally digging her. She's dug herself into this. She has no one to blame but herself. I did nothing to anybody. You don't like that I'm smug? Why? For being myself? I have a right to not. What am I going to do? Oh, please. Yes, I'm going to bow down to your bullying. No, I'm not. I'm not. And there's nothing you can do about it. An NDA is not hard and I can help you. FFG won't be allowed to talk about you ever again. Hmm. She repeats it again in NDA, the lawyer. And this one is so bright. She, hmm, she's really debating the NDA. Okay, message me, Tanya, if you want. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Literally all Chantal has done is live her life and post it online. Right, Pinkfish? What have I done? What have I done? Exactly. They keep, this is the thing. This is why they look for things. This is what it all comes down to, Pinkfish. They look for things as deflection, like to deflect. They need something to support their hate. Um, they need a reason for it. So this time, this time it's BBJ's neglect, BBJ's abuse, BBJ's nails, all the outrage over BBJ gives her an excuse to keep her hate shit going. So, and, and this is the thing. People are so easily manipulated. They don't. No, but here's the thing that you don't get, or maybe you're pretending not to get. Had the BBJ thing never happened, we'd still all hate your guts. I'll speak for me. Had the BBJ thing not happened, I'd still hate your guts. Hated your guts long before the BBJ thing, and I hate your guts now. It's not about the bbj thing that was just like add it to the list add it to the book you know what i mean acting as if bbj's nails growing into her the pads of her feet is the only thing that we have to say against chantal it's the only misstep that she has ever ever made
And how dare we see it? They don't see it. They're all mouth breathers, like dumb, dumb people. She who gets winded putting away groceries just called us mouth breathers. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're a lawyer. Just like Yabba's lawyer. What a joke. <laughs> uh, goodbye. <clears throat> no offense, but any lawyer you find, do a background check. Of course. Yeah, Rhonda. I'm not just going to pick somebody off the internet. Like, I'm never trusting people online ever again. This is my bad, is trusting this Lisa loser. My bad. Okay, sliding doors. Just play this one with me, devil's advocate, because it would be funny. So in another universe, she had actually tried to go ahead with charges, not charges, but I don't know what the fuck she even wanted to do in court against me, but she goes to a lawyer and she's like, I'm going to Montreal, lawyer. I'm going to go to court in Montreal. I'm going to get this bitch where she's at. Okay. And by chance, she happens to go to my uncle, the lawyer. <laughs> who does not have the same last name as me and she would have no fucking idea who it is. Would that not be the funniest thing? And you know how like God is funny and the, the universe works in hilarious and mysterious ways. That would be chef's fucking kiss. I would have died laughing. She just like goes in for a meeting with her lawyer one day. I'm sitting in the like, in the like waiting room. Well, hello, Chantal. She's like, not you again. <laughs> <clears throat> so if you're waiting for my karma, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen because I don't do anything to anybody. I don't do anything to any of you. I literally come on here and bees and eat my double fil filet of fish. You know, yeah, I'm a fat ass, but who cares? Like that doesn't give you the right to harass me. You know what? Well said. Yeah, I'm a fat ass, but who cares? We don't care. We literally don't. I say this all the time. The fact that you're going to lose a foot eventually doesn't affect any one of our legs. No one cares if you're a fat ass. We care that you're a hor just horrible, rotten human being in every way that a person can be rotten. You could be a, a, a 110, uh, 110, 110 pounds and it wouldn't change who you are. It would probably just make you worse. All these channels are breaking pretty much terms of service in a way or their other, but YouTube don't care. Actually, anytime I've complained to YouTube, it was through chat. I'm going to prepare a huge email with all of the evidence and that's all I can do. I mean, you yes. know, people accuse me of not doing anything. No, I try to keep it quiet though, because I don't want, exactly. I don't want to reveal my cards or anything. She's so dumb. She learned that yesterday from me. <laughs> it would make her worse. I totally agree. Can you imagine, you know, the clip that we have now in the YouTube intro and stuff about the pretty privilege and that bullshit. If she thinks as a mouth breathing, half teeth having Funkle baby death fat that she's got pretty privilege. Can you imagine if she was a skinny? Oh my God. It would be like Godzilla attitude walking amongst us on earth. I'm not just sitting here passively like a lot of people are thinking and not just that, but I don't feel like dealing with this crap. Like I don't, like I said, I didn't ask to be involved in this. Um, I don't insert myself in things like these people, these weird people, you know, even if Chantal and Kuwait, a lawyer will keep following the case against their criminal FFG <laughs> French fried cigarettes. If you have a Mr. FFG, why is your brother the one who kidnapped BBJ? Exactly. Where's your man? Why weren't you writing with your man? Like, it's so, there's no evidence of a man at all. It's so sad and pathetic. And yeah, I'm only using that as a one up because she talks a lot of shit about my um, relationship and it's a lie. It's a blatant lie. And her audience doesn't like me because I'm a liar. So again, how do you support FFG? But like, it doesn't make any sense. It's, it has nothing to do with her, has nothing to do with the cats, has nothing to do with anything except for your hate hard on for me. And there's no, it's not founded. There's no reason for you to hate me. I did nothing to anybody. hate hard on. I don't know if she can read, but if she can read, has she read the, the vet papers, the documents from the vet? Has nothing to do with a hate hard on for you, Chantal. You neglected the shit out of that animal. Confirmed by vets. Okay, stop it. Did you see if she was in disguise hiding down the street? No, Jackalope. You know what's the funniest thing to me with her obsession with the Mr. FFG and where he is during the day? Because she never has anyone in her life that has a job. Just, just you know, like regular hour, regular schmegula, kind of like eight to four, nine to five, whatever job. 
she doesn't know anybody like that in her life. She's never had a partner like that. So for her, for example, the BBJ rescue that happened at like noon on a weekday. No, no. People should be taking time off of work. You look around in your life and you're like, okay, who the fuck is available tomorrow to come and pull this off with me? You know what I mean? I'm not going to ask someone to take a day off of work to pull some fucking cat heist. That's just stupid. Someone's available. You ask that person. If they're not down, you move on to the next one. That's how I function anyway. I value a day's work and I would never assume somebody would take a day off for my fuck shit. The other obsession, the Valentine's thing. She brings it up in this stream. She brings it up to this day that I was in Cornwall with Shannon in the afternoon last year on Valentine's Day. Okay. And do, do people in your life take the day off of work? Do you think everybody's work, like society just closes down because everyone stays home because it's Valentine's Day? You fucking useless moron with only useless people in your life to compare things to? No, day job. You know where I was, for example, when the sun set on Valentine's Day? I was home back in Montreal. What the fuck does the afternoon have to do with after work hours? But she doesn't understand that. I need people to send me this stuff. So if you have anything on FFG that could help my case, if you have any pictures of her in disguise, I want them in my inbox, please. <clears throat> you just live your life being you. These reactors try to tear you down or bully you into reacting and then go how vile of her, how she reacted. It's so transparent. Exactly, Jack. Exactly. Thank you for having a brain. Like, honestly, that's what they do. Yeah. Yeah, they do it. That's a good point. Yeah, BB did work kind of like regular hours. Okay, I, he worked very, very early in the morning. And there was a time where he worked overnight, but completely irrelevant. Those are your regular hours. BB had a good work ethic like I think I do. And I think the people in my life do, you know, you're going to tell me that because it was Valentine's Day, BB was calling into sick, uh, like sick to work. I fucking don't think so. They, they try to provoke you into reacting somehow, and then they use that against you. You're so right. <laughs> BBJ proof of life. Yeah, all she sends me is these weird pictures. Like, the pictures are formatted weird. I don't know. And BBJ is just curled up looking all weird, like all not happy. So, so you guys care about BBJ. No, you care about being brushed, jealous. The drama. You don't give a shit about that cat. Good on you. <clears throat> <laughs> modest my uncle is a lawyer pretty much this could keep her from having a youtube channel talking about you she could still do youtube but not talk about you and that is her money maker get an nda i'm gonna talk to the lawyer monday about it my membership is about to run out and while i'm disappointed i want to wish you and sell all the best like you but yeah all formatted weird crazy to think that somebody would maybe crop the pictures that they send to somebody they know is a fucking doxer so that there's nothing in that picture that can possibly like you know, give away their location to a doxer. No, yeah, no, it's formatted weird. Do you see the cat? Yeah, shut the hell up then. The point of what, Maggie? FFG is using you for the money. She does not care about your cats. This is how she pays her bills. Don't let it emotionally affect you. Oh, no, it won't. Well, um, I mean, I am human. So yeah, I wish I wasn't dealing with these things, but FFG's kill count is high. We need proof of life. I asked for photos, Jackalope. No, I blocked the woman, but I asked her for photos. And even whenever I was suspicious, she was lying to me about it. Like she's, she's a horrible human, a liar, piece of crap, de de just deception at its finest. Like, yeah, BBJ's being used as a pawn. Exactly. <clears throat> Could you imagine if FFG showed up at your house that day instead of her brother? Yeah, she's too coward. She's a coward. She did it for the drama, exactly, and to one-up you, like your girl. Like, girl, your whole situation with the loser happened almost two years ago. Get over it, FFG. Exactly. If she was just in it just to talk, warn me about the relationship. Anyway, everyone was warning me he wasn't a good guy, so why does she get this um, super big status? Because she lied her way into the scene, just like Charlie Gold did. They all lied. She lied. Can you imagine this, this? Okay, this is last year on this day, so we were still, what, a year and a bit out of Crackhead Olympics? And she still insisted. She lied. She lied. Fucking hell, man. Since, since 2021, I believe it was uh, May, she has been accusing me of this lie, but still has never said what the lie was. Huh? Oh, that the uh, girlfriend got uh, stabbed at the arm 
or sh like grazed with the knife uh, cut with the on the arm instead of shanked in the side that was the big lie oh okay he's going around stabbing people but the lie is the location of the stab whatever you need to tell yourself shut off that makes you feel better okay lied about the weight loss situation she's fatter than ever charlie and ffg lied about no somebody knowing not heard she inserted herself she's creepy she does it with everything the fashion show bbj she's a weirdo she's a stalker disgusting weirdo and nobody wants anything to do with her in her real life other than her brother that's insane but also where's your sister your sister hates your guts more than we do <laughs> you really want to talk about siblings bitch i don't think so Oh, man, she's so delusional. And this whole stupid shit about uh, uh, the stalker and my fatty fashion show and my this and my that and inserting yourself. Bitch, you should have thanked me for reaching out and trying to help you out sitting duck with somebody who's stabby. That's number one. Number two, fatty fashion show is a public event in my city, 17 minutes away from my home. Eh? You advertise that shit a lot. You wanted, you hoped somebody was going to show up. People were going to show up to support you. Huh? You thanked me for being there. You really thought we'd be like friends after that. That's your problem, Delulu. Okay, not mine. Public event in my city. Get fucked. And uh, the BBJ Rescue, I stand by what I said. I believe anybody or almost anybody in this community who had been physically, distance-wise, as close as I was and, you know, a little bit nuts. I will give her that. Okay, you gotta, you gotta be a little nuts. Capable of pulling it off would have saved BBJ. It is what it is. Hi, energy. <clears throat> She's intimidated by your strong personality and she just can't handle it. She needs to keep bringing you down in order to bring herself up. It's sad. It's disgusting. Garbage people. Nick Akata received an NDA from Stephanie Sue and had to drop it. Oh, really? Hmm. Guess what, FFG? Guess what? It's still not called an NDA. How can these morons, all these morons in her chat... They all collectively have one non-fully functioning brain. Not one of them has said, hey, it's not called an NDA. I hope you go work at, I hope you go work at uh, Debbie Colbeck's Independent. I hear they're hiring. What does she think she just did there? Because that little click, 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 click. She thinks she just did. Debbie Colbeck Independent. That's Dee Dee. I think they're hiring. What what the fuck even was that? The A from Stephanie Sue and had to drop it. Oh really? Hmm. Guess what? FFG. I hope you go work at. I hope you go work at uh, Debbie Colbeck's Independent. I hear they're hiring. What do you think you just did there? You ate her RB sandwich twice for free. <laughs> you weren't even smart enough to get paid for it. So don't talk about Dee Dee Colbeck uh, Independent. Fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed A plus. You know, there's two kinds of charmuthas in life. Eh? There's a charmutha in your heart and a charmutha in your head. You know what the difference is between those two types of charmuthas? A charmutha in the head is smart enough to get paid for it. A charmutha in the, uh, charmutha in the heart leads with the heart and never the brain. That's Chantal. She's a fucking idiot. FFG is using BBJ as a cash grab. It's disgusting. As soon as FFG stops bringing her super chat, she'll have no use to her. Yeah, and then everybody, if anything happens to that cat, I hope you all eat your super chats, he said to her. I hope you all eat your words. And I hope you know that all of that money is going to be put somewhere. Don't worry. I'm a little, honestly, I'm a little worried for BBJ. Yeah, obviously. FFG is not a nice person. A nice person doesn't do what she does. She's a horrible piece of crap. She probably lives in the ghetto of Montreal. No one sees her living conditions. And her sister, too. Her sister's a weirdo who's willing to lie like that and be a... She probably lives in the ghetto of Montreal. She had a real big mouth sitting in Pete's rented unit. Huh? The luxury villa, which we called the luxury villa as a joke. And she started unironically calling it the luxury villa. I probably live in the ghetto of Montreal. <laughs> okay. Whatever that means. Man, you live in a fart box in the sky a shithole you got wires running across the faucets in your kitchen and shit you want to talk about ghetto dwellings i got no wires in my kitchen at all eh? i have more than uh, two centimeters square counter space <laughs> girl shh, stop it stop it 
I love it. Again, when you say karma's not getting her, the mouth that had the audacity to say things like that, when just a reminder, again, she could never rent the place that she's sitting in right now, shooting off her fat face. She had no credit. The two bankruptcies couldn't rent a place of her own, but she has the nerve to be saying things like that because she used to be living the good life with her 20 grand a month. She really thought she was something. Scammer. This is a scam. This is a 100% scam. You think I want to give my pet to somebody uh, related to somebody who's been harassing me for two years? Really? No. And she chain smokes. Who knows? I don't know if these people smoke. I don't know what these people's lives are like. Like they everything. No, that's not fair. She knows damn right. That had been very well established in the DMs between them. And that's not bullshit at all. No, I'm the smoker in my family. My brother doesn't even smoke. Amy doesn't smoke. My mom didn't fucking smoke. Uh, it's me. I'm the degenerate high. It's me. The thing was a lie. They lied to me. So I have no trust. So yeah, I feel uneasy about BBJ for sure. But of course, now that it's in the public eye, she's going to try to make it, you know, my dad is a lyric. Ask him whatever you want to know for free. Oh, really? <laughs> FFG's tweets, posts, videos will be surrounded by BBJ. You know what else? Nobody in my family has ever smoked a meth pipe that they find on the floor at a crackhead's house ever. Get more money. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm not going to give it any attention. They're all going to be talking to themselves as usual. It still dumbfounds me that there's a whole Twitter community of cackling hens who cat ladies who sit on their ass all day talking crap about other people at their age in their 50s and 60s. Miserable, miserable people. Hell, 80s, look at tea and dust. She literally has videos, it's creepy, of me on her, watching me on her big screen. Just like Doodoo -doo and Natter, you see them. I, I have a screenshot of Natter with his swordfish face from the side, watching Salah and I happily on Fileka Fale Island. And he's like, mm, what's this? Yeah, you're disgusting. You look like a swordfish. If I asked my family to help me scam a cat from someone, they would have me committed. Exactly. Say what you want about my family. They never would. Never. A decent. Yeah, ex okay, I know your family wouldn't. You told us the story about the kitten when you were a kid. Chantal got a kitten from her mom when she was a kid. The kitten, fully healthy. There is nothing wrong with the kitten. The kitten was euthanized by her mother. Why? Because her mom found the kitten annoying. That's a story Chantal told us on her channel, okay? So you're right. You're absolutely right, Chantal. Your family and my family do not function in the same way. And we certainly don't value animals in the same way. That type of shit, non-existent. That's so crazy, so cruel, and so psychotic. That's, that's a your family thing. Stop projecting your weirdness, okay? In my family, the animals have always been treated better than the people. It's family tradition, okay? It's always been and it will always be. They are the innocents and they can't take care of themselves. There are no kids in my family. The animals are the children. I know that I'm a crazy, almost 40-year-old lady with a fucking pets as babies, all right? It is what it is. I can spoil them like that. I'm blessed. Ah. You can call me a lot of things. You can hate me for a lot of fucking reasons, Chantal. One thing you can't fucking touch me on is the way that pets are treated in my family. A human being, imagine my grandmother was the same age as tea and, tea and dust. Can you imagine if your grandmother is bullying another person online? What? what? Ew. Charlie Gold crushed and burned. Yeah, of course. And so will FFG. Adora massage. What's that, Toriana? She's a hateful, spiteful. I hope Mr. FFG never messed up because she, she has, there's no Mr. FFG. Where? Proof of life or not, or doesn't have, it's, there's nothing. <laughs> Let's make a list. Email YouTube and get FFG destroyed. Make oat flour. Make <laughs> healthy snack bars. Move to Kuwait. Let's do it. Every day she'd be like, well, that one time five years ago, you blah, blah, blah. Right? Right? Yeah. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. She legit doesn't even think she is a stalker, but it's like, baby girl, you are. Yeah, she is for sure. So... Salah, sorry that both your friends betrayed you. Which friend? That, uh, that's fair. Like, I'm just saying I don't have kids. But, I mean, I, I was a kid. I, I grew up in a house with pets. The pets were, like, literally called our siblings. Like, <laughs> you be nice to your brother. You be nice to your sister. They were called brothers and sisters. They were treated as our siblings. It is what it is. Like I said, family tradition. We're all sick like that, and I love it. Friends betrayed him. FFG's voice is disgusting, makes me puke. <laughs> a thousand percent a scam. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Murad defended him, yeah. 
Yes, we're going to. So so I'm just going to focus on my life, you know. So it's two dollars the go to amount people pay for the attention of someone you claim to dislike. I wish I could pay someone one cent that I dis. I wish I could pay someone one cent that I dislike or don't respect weirdos. I know. Hi, PNV. They're all weird. T and death gets no views now. <laughs> She's a racist weirdo. Allah is a fake useless friend. Welcome, Autumn Anderson. Welcome, loyalty beasters. Ready, set, rebees. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. So moving on. See, uh, see, the thing is, I don't need to keep talking. I talk about them to defend myself, but I don't need to. I have you guys. I can bees. I can show you my prayer dresses for content. That's all I have to do. Ooh, foot massager. Ah, yes, Nemo. <laughs> Nemo the nemesis cat. You know, there has to be a reason I dislike cats. So I'm, I'm going to blame Nemo because she was such a... I'm sorry, cat people, but that cat was a fucking bitch. <laughs> like, she just... She had evil in her. She was gray like BBJ, but she was not nice like BBJ. She had evil in her, that cat. Yes, the cashew thief. The fucking cashew thief. That cat hated all of us. I told you when my mom called me from the bathroom, she called me, she was too scared to come out of the bathroom because the cat had bullied her, her words into the bathroom and she was standing guard at the door. And she was too scared to come out of the bathroom. And I lived like not too far around the corner, whatever. So I come to like liberate her. I get in there. The cat's not even outside the door. The cat's like comfortably sleeping on her bed. My mom comes out of the bathroom. I leave. The whole thing's like, ha, ha, ha. That night, the cat shit, not on her pillow, but went in the pillowcase and shit inside the pillowcase on my mom's pillow. That cat was evil. Hmm? <laughs> Hi, Big Toe. The whole family is weird, and she says she doesn't like cats. Remember, they don't either. So she says she doesn't like, it's just for attention, all of it. It's like, this are you kidding me? You have to be, you must be shitting me. Hold on, I need the tab. I have an everyday Miri Ham tab. Oh my God, you have to be kidding me. Hold on, we need a little sidebar from what we're doing. We'll come right back to this. Uh, here we are, back on Twitch for the first time in I literally don't even remember how many months, but I mean, you guys know it's been hella months. We have not been on Twitch. Well, guess what just got put up on Chantal's community tab? I shit you not. Hi, I made a new Twitch account called Miriam Plays Games and decided it's best for me to do my gaming over there. So if you want to watch more streams, gaming and chat, then please follow my Twitch channel below. First stream tomorrow night. I'll announce the time tomorrow. Bro. <laughs> Chantal, we haven't been on Twitch in months. Now, how many minutes ago was this posted? Like literally like four minutes ago. Three minutes ago. Three minutes ago? Guys, I have a stalker. It's getting kind of serious. Calm the fuck down, Miriam. This is why. If I had known, I would have never given to her to be BBJ to them for, for drama. To be milked for drama. This is real nice. Real nice. Hi, Sam B. Anyways, I'm just going to keep up with the lawyer, keep le pursuing legally and see what I can do behind the scenes. I'm not going to make it uh, the focus of my channel because I don't have to. We're going to have fun, not give them any attention they want. Okay, wait, sidebar. Let's figure out the time zones here. What will be nighttime tomorrow, her time, ballpark? What would that be here? Because maybe, maybe... I'm going to fish out the old fucking switch. I shit you not. We haven't played switch in two fucking years. I will switch. I'm going to find that goddamn switch. I'm going to pull that dusty motherfucker out. And we can marry obese tomorrow out of spite whenever she's going to game. Right here on Twitch. Out of spite. Oh. Let me make sure it all works tonight. If it does, we're fucking marry obesing out of spite tomorrow. But I will be offline. Uh, like I said. For a little while, more than likely, just because uh, I need some things to take care of. Um, 
Okay, okay. Bambi says, Frenchie, let's play Fortnite. I don't know anything. I have never played this game. So I will be as... Ba Sorry, Bambi, but I will be as Bambi in that game as Bambi was when she first showed up here. I leave the choice up to you guys. Would you rather Mario Bees or Fortnite Bees? Fortnite is free, I believe. You can just, like, download it. Um... Fortnite is free. Yeah, that so that's more fun because like everybody could play. That's the bitch with the Mario Kart game, you know? Frenchie playing Fortnite would be iconic. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, my heart's racing already. This is going to be a shit show. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, we will. I will figure it out. I think we're going to Fortnite spite bees tomorrow. <laughs> Well, that'll be somebody. Here's how you can do it. Here, thanks for the advice in advance. Yeah, I have some things I have to take care of, and I just, I just need to focus on that because I have a few days left, and I just have to like really. But we're gonna do it as ghetto as we always did, eh? I still don't have that graphic card or whatever the fuck card you guys had told me you can get a card and then stream it from your computer. I don't have any of that shit. So I'm gonna do it like we used to do. I'm gonna aim the my phone at the fucking TV and we're gonna play like that on the, on the tripod from the coffee table. And I'm just gonna be screaming in the background and watching the chat on my computer, how we used to do, okay? Low tech, we keep it low tech around here crunch down and I'm going to be busy visiting my family, um, doing other things. And now that I'm not having the open house, uh, I have to get rid of everything. So I'm going to be doing that and I'm not going, I'm not going live in public anymore while I'm here. When we get to Kuwait, yes, we'll do public live streams. We'll do a lot of things when we get to Kuwait, new life. I couldn't believe the news when I finally got caught up. She's gone too far. Yep. So I guess the law will deal with it. Guys, don't fat shame each other in here. <laughs> um, she stole. Why am I gonna hate it? What do you mean? Fort Spite. Oh, Fort Spite, Pixie. I love it. Fort Spite. <laughs> Why am I gonna hate it? <laughs> Why? Because it's going to make me nervous? All the games make me nervous. That's fine. I was a wreck while we would play Mario Kart 2. That's just how I, I play video games, so that's why I don't really play them. But, um, I mean, I'm down to play. <laughs> Full BBJ for attention and money. Exactly. Or she's going to say, I didn't do it. It's my sister-in-law. Well, guess what? I hope your sister-in-law will be in shit, too. I hope she thanks you for it. Yeah, it's totally normal. Ah, a pew pew game. Can we put that on Twitch? Are you allowed to stream that type of pew pew game? I okay. Listen, you. I don't watch anyone on Twitch. I know you guys know about Twitch. Are there people on Twitch who have played that game on their streams? So then I'll, I'll know. Like it's okay. You know, I have no for yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I don't know. Normal to get dressed up in disguise, commit identity fraud. All the while scheming in the background to gain someone's personal property, not psychotic or anything. <laughs> yeah. Were you live when those videos? Yeah, I was live when they videotaped me in public. Yeah. Really, Toriana? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry for all these pauses, but at this point, she's calmed down. I don't even care anymore. Now I'm all excited for this game. You can play Fortnite on mobile and tablet too. Okay, that's great. So you don't even need a Switch. Because it's... it's uh. What do you call it? It's free to download. So if you have your phone or I think you can even play it on a computer. I recently was told, correct me if I'm wrong, you can play this shit on a computer too. So whatever you have, whatever you're like watching Twitch on even, you can download and you can play uh, and download it for free. That's awesome. <clears throat> Can't believe people dislike you more than FFG. Mom mentality is a powerful, powerful thing. Going to Kuwait away from the reach of these people will be a good thing. Yes, definitely. So it's going to be Ramadan soon. <laughs> a place isn't your home, but who you are with. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Salah is my home. And now Howie. I can't wait for him to play in the playpen. So when I get home, I'm going to put him in this, clean out his cage. And then we're cuddling for two days whole straight. <laughs> and then I guess I'm going to... 
Oh, I remember when she said that last year. That to me meant that Salad refused to clean the Rat Fink's cage the whole time she was gone to Canada. You know how he was like weirded out? He, he himself had said he doesn't like pets that move, whatever the hell that means. So yeah, her saying that as soon as she gets back, she's going to clean out the Rat Fink's cage led me to believe that he had not touched the Rat Fink the whole time that she was gone to Canada. Make the energy balls. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to set up the stream to make the energy balls. What do you think? Taking a break will help mentally and spiritually. Yep. I thought you looked so cute in that video. Thank you. Bakersfield, no. 26 days remaining for Ramadan. <laughs> yes. Glow up arc, yes. Please, mice and men, Howie. <laughs> Between the stocking picks the other day and this stunt, I'm actually glad you were leaving the country. Yeah, really, me too. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, I need to make a part two of that song, apparently. At least. Oh, God. Yeah, it's perfect timing at the end of the day. At the end of the day, Chantal, no one cares. I've lost the will to live on this one. She's not ragey or super fucking smug, outwardly bitchy. She's never as smug as she is with a McDonald's burger in her hand, ever. That's always her at peak smugness. The burger's done. She's like, eh, low energy now. She wants to get off of this stream even and go and just get high and lay out. No hijab, you know? Oh, hell yeah, the ads suck. Freaking ads, man. They, go, they just go on for so long on this freaking Twitch. I don't get it. Eh. The hijab spanks weren't a thing yet here. No, yeah. She's fully pants on her head type of thing. I'm going to put Fortnite on my tablet. Nice, Grandma Spud. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. FFG, you can see it. Uh, in the pick, I sent you that Fortnite is a well-streamed game on here. Thank you, Pixie. I believe you guys. You got a Fortnite ad? Oh, no. They're listening. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that's wild. They really are listening. Exit out and come back. May have to do more than one. Oh, yeah? Does that end the freaking... Oh, you got a Taco Bell one? They really know us. Look, you mentioned Fortnite, you get a Fortnite ad. We didn't even talk about Taco Bell today, but it's like, ah, I remember these fat bitches. <laughs> they talk about Taco Bell and then the Taco Bell ads start. Baja Blast, Baja Blast. <laughs> I love it. They're encouraging us to play Fortnite. Okay. Everybody grab your tinfoil ass. <laughs> Baja Blast commercial coming soon. I hope so. <laughs> same share bear now i'm hungry i know at this point i could do with a fucking taco bell ad let's go oh wait i also sent you one of those nine ads of mine usher is the only one wow wow awesome all right you can make baja at home i know it doesn't taste exactly the same it's very close but it's not the same I'm going to be traveling the world with somebody who loves me and with a really handsome man and living my life, getting to make content I want, not having to be negative and dress up in disguise to get content and try just be vile. Um, I'm just glad I'm not her. So that's what makes me happy. And that's what keeps me going. And knowing that talking to that lawyer helps me, like I'm going to keep trying to find a lawyer who will help me the best way they can. And I'm going to sue the shit out of her. Inshallah. <laughs> Address the move back to Kuwait. Yep. I'm leaving Canada. Good things are coming. Knock on wood. <laughs> so, at the end, she really does always tell on herself, eh? Either after the fact or before the fact. End of the day. <laughs> Remember how hard you and I were list laughing listening to the playback, babe? Hey, 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 yeah. Okay, now I'm on a Baja Blast tangent. Uh, e Zooter. No, Baja Blast is not really, really sweet. That's why I love it so much. There's like a weird, a weird, a little bit of like a bitterness almost to Baja Blast. And it's so goddamn refreshing. And it's not so sweet that it kills 100% that bitterness. Hard to explain. I hope I, I explained that right. But it's just, how dare you? Are you kidding me? How can you taste that? Delicious aquarium water and tell me it's gross. What's gross about it? What? 
because it's not sweet. Maybe you don't like the little tiny bitterness of it. I love it. Yeah, a little sour. You're right. A little sour, a little bitter, and a little bit sweet. But you get the sour and you get the bitter. It's so good. And when you're thirsty and it's hot and shit, you get one of those in the summer and the, the cup is like sweating because it's so fucking hot out. You take a sip of that, mm, instantly quenched. I wish I did. I wish I did. <laughs> Doctor checkup. Oh, nah. Because I'm going to be, I don't want to be a resident here anymore. All right. I have some Quaker oats. So these energy balls, oats, we have to use the food processor, almond butter, dates. Babe, I wish I did. I wish I did. Love you all my life. But I will love you all my life. Cocoa powder. That's a little psycho because it's Chantal. I will love you all my life. Like, you're never getting rid of me, scat man. No matter how many people you want to poop on that aren't me, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> she is a dingle. She called me a dingleberry in this stream, but she's a dingleberry holding on for dear life. And I think that's it. I love those. The coffee. I'm going to make a whole bunch and they're good for the, uh, I'll keep some in my carry on too. Oh no, it's, yeah, I should be able to. Steel cut out. Yeah. No, Katie, no. The vet I took her to the last time, her nails got bad. I said, wow, I, I'm surprised her nails got that bad that quick. And they're like, yeah, it, it happens for elderly cats. I've said this a million times. If they don't scratch, like Sam's nails were fine at, for an example, because he scratches all the furniture. She she stopped scratching. This is what I'm saying. She doesn't have a good quality of life anymore. She just lays around like she's, you know, she's so old. She doesn't barely, she doesn't play. She doesn't scratch. She didn't scratch any of the furniture and she hasn't been scratching anything. The scratching post, I have a big one there. No scratching. So their nails grow extremely long. So so for the third time in less than 12 hours, she has confirmed to everybody that she knew better and she knew that her nails would grow long and that they don't work their nails. <laughs> what are you doing? She's completely brain dead. Why would you say that over and over and over? I don't get it. Letting us know, just confirming again. And if you, you didn't hear her yesterday twice, you heard her now, you know, Jesus. Uh, yeah, your girl, Janae. Have Baja Blast in my fridge. It still has uh, 62 grams of sugar, though. Oh, yeah. It's still like a mess like all the other drinks. Look, the zero one. Highly recommend anything zero, you know. But just, yeah, it's fucked like all the other drinks. But, I mean, when you drink it, it doesn't taste sweet like the others do. You know what I mean? It's not like, um, I don't know, taking a sip of, like, Sprite. You know how sweet it is? It's like, eh, the sugar, like, gets up in your brain and stuff. Not the same. You get the bitter. Um. You know what I mean? Huh. I lay around too, yeah, but I cut my own nails. <laughs> so when I saw that, obviously I felt bad. That's why I said I want to take her. I was like, I want to take her to the vet. And I even said that. I'm like, I want to take her to the vet in the message because I want her nails to be cut. And I offered for it. But no, there would be no drama if her nails were cut. If she got BBJ and her nails were fine, there would be nothing, nothing for her to talk about. Nothing. So she did that. 100% not true. Like we had said, the nail thing had come out during an emergency appointment that had been the day after her rescue, but her regular like head to toe appointment, checkup, everything, bloods and all that was Saturday, wait, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five days later. So, okay. We would have had what, nothing cat related to talk about for five days, but in five days when uh, we found out everything we did. We still would have hella to talk about. What are you saying? As if, again, the nails were the only thing being neglected with BBJ's health. That on purpose, because she's a piece of crap. She's a psycho. Ready, set, please, Katie. My cat is eight and he stopped scratching and licking himself and he's so bitter he doesn't let his siblings lick him. His name is Jake. Aw, hi, Jake. <laughs> Excuse me, Lynn. Are you calling me names? Or goodbye. <laughs> There's no confusion. There's no confusion. Like maybe people are confused, but they don't listen to me. That's why they only listen to her. So of course they're going to be confused. She doesn't make any sense. 
No, Anna, you're not. Um, <laughs> God always wins. You're talking about God and okay, get a life. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna win. Don't worry. It was wrong of that person. God, all she is, she's so obsessed with. You won. I'm gonna win. Win, 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 win. It, what, it, there's no win. There's no lose. BBJ won. That's what it is. But she does not give two shits. She never did about BBJ. It's just about the ego hit that she took. It's the perceived loss in her mind. That's all she cares about. She could not fucking care less about an animal. I'm going to film you, but just wondering why you were walking down the middle of the road. It made me laugh. <laughs> because I said in the live stream, it's winter. So all along the sidewalk, there's a huge winter and bank, a snow embankment. I can't climb over it. So, or I didn't want to risk it. So I had to go all the way to the store and then go. I couldn't get to the sidewalk. <clears throat> The act of fasting is meant to remind Muslims of the less fortunate and to be, to reinforce the need to be thankful. Yes. Yes. And we have a lot to be thankful for. So as one of the five pillars or duties of Islam, fasting during the month of Ramadan is mandatory for all healthy adult Muslims. Absolutely. Yes. BBJ and Sam. <laughs> so yeah, the, the arc with the cats is over. I'm tired of hearing about it. I don't want to hear about it. It's ridiculous. I did the best thing for them. Obviously not for BBJ, unfortunately, but Hard lesson learned. Never trust anyone. Hi, Laganja. Because she's so dense. Never trust anyone. That's the lesson to take away. And not when giving away something as precious as a life that's been your companion for all those years, look into the person you're giving them away to a little bit. I'm very sure, yeah. Of course I missed them. That Seek man, welcome to Grand Porn Beezers. Ready, set, peace. Oh, yeah. Nut salsa. Never shut the fuck up about it. The goddamn chicken soup from scratch. Never shut the fuck up about it. The things she fixates on are just her losses. You know what I mean? Fucking idiot. If she's going to fixate on her losses for the rest of her life, that's going to be the rest of her life. Because all she takes is L's. They have, uh, I think they have socialized health care or they have health care there. It's not, you don't have to pay. I they don't have taxes there either. So I'm grateful for that over there. <laughs> Queen and King, yeah. Man, say something. Sit up. Protein balls. Hey, Black Million. Okay, so these ones are oat flour. Almond butter, dates, like um, dates to keep them sticky, and cocoa powder. And then you roll them in unsweetened coconut, and they're like little balls. You know, like those little, like those little energy ball, chocolate balls we had at the that um, place at the airport, babe. Well, we can make some like this, and they're gonna be healthy. We're gonna go to time. You don't need energy balls. Energy balls are for people who expend energy. You sit there all day. Stop it. Thailand, yeah, inshallah. <laughs> yeah I want to make oat flour together <laughs> diva <laughs> how is BBJ going to scratch she could when her nails were fine she doesn't scratch that's why her nails always grow long like that um, I couldn't keep as good an eye on them like when I was in Kuwait obviously but I did video with Pete's and they looked okay like as far as I could see and my plan was to take her like when we came back here so I had the appointment made and then I was going to bring her and actually I'm completely a hundred percent effing done talking about BBJ and Sam. So it's over. So if you keep talking about it, anybody, I will just block you period and move on. Like, <laughs> Still talking about it one year later. Holy crap. Oh yeah. Yeah. It never ended because she has nothing else to talk about. That's right. She never shuts up about it. One year later, still talks about it all the time. We're having a little throwback because it's the one year anniversary. She has spoken about it weekly, at least for the past year. It's ridiculous. Talk about having nothing, nothing going on at all in your life. Nothing to just speak about, nothing to fill your channel with. No, it always goes back to taking out the anger on me that you can't take out on salad. 
You're so mad at him. You want to yell at him and fucking berate him for what he did with Con Bella, but you can't because you're still trying to make him fall in love with you. So you take it out on me instead. Abusive. I don't want to talk about it because it's over with. It's, it's drawn out. It was drawn out ad nauseum. This is drama for nothing. Like, it's just ridiculous. <clears throat> Ready, set, ease. Welcome, Sparky Sparks. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're hitting the gym, Jake. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't want any drama in my chats. I find it disappointing seeing that. I don't know. Like, I heard about Missy Moo. She's not in my chat. So, there's probably is something there. I don't know. I don't really give a shit. I find I, I'm not surprised. Like, I've lost faith in so many people. It's just ridiculous. Like, I don't know. People she lost faith in Pissy Poo. Pissy Poo, who didn't stand by animal abuse for like, I don't know what, two days maybe that they were pissy at each other. You can't convince me Pissy Poo isn't right back under her fupa, like almost immediately after this happened. But yeah, maybe, maybe that was even them playing a game. Maybe, I don't know. They planned to do that together. Whatever the fuck it was. Pissy Poo was never welcome with our group and will never be welcome anywhere around my channel. Doesn't change a goddamn thing. But yeah, if she's not like loyal, loyalty means you have to be okay with mistreatment of animals. If you want to be a loyal beezer, yeah, whatever bad thing Chantal does, you have to be okay with or else you're not loyal and you can get fucked. People are not... Um... There's nothing wrong with my cheek tooth. Um, hmm. Yeah. Jennifer, welcome to Vampire Bees. Ready to say bees. I don't trust anyone. No. People are fake, 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 fake. You know? Oh. That's a BBJ comment. Goodbye, Jennifer. See you. I'm not going to sit here debating for a fucking month over my cat's nail care. Suck it up. Stay mad. Unsubscribe. Hate me for whatever the fake outrage you want. I'm done talking about it. Period. Fake outrage. Period. People don't recognize boundaries. People, these people don't even know. You're, these people were all trying to freak out and talk to me. Same audience from FFG about boundaries when I was with Natterd. And now you're, you have none. You have no boundaries. You're a piece of You're an idiot. <laughs> Sometimes in life, it's good to have boundaries. Some boundaries, however, in life are meant to be broken for the greater good. And yeah, saving an animal, I'll break that boundary any fucking day. You being mistreated by a crackhead who won't even claim you and paying for his life and all his addictions. Yeah, you, you could have put up that boundary. Oh shit. Goodbye. See you. And on that happy note, I don't feel like being on the internet anymore. So I'm going to get off. Based on logic, it absolutely is. Nice. Islamophobic. I said hi, Sparky. Maybe you didn't hear it. <laughs> no. It's just a hijab I found. I'm like, I need to just cover up. So I didn't bother getting like too ready. It's a pant leg. Hi, Autumn. I've been vegan, blah, blah, blah. Mm. You have neglected their nails before? <clears throat> Yeah, as long as you take care of it. That's what I was doing. I'm here. I just hate the drama. Plus, I've never watched FFG. I don't like the drama either, Estrella. I don't know why people blame me for it. It's not my fucking problem. It's not my fault. I don't honestly didn't ask for any of this. <laughs> Trust me. I'm just here eating and talking to you guys. There's no need for it. But I have a jealous dingleberry who has to attach herself to every little thing. And she thinks that she's not going to pay for it. Guess what? Guess what? I cannot wait guess what <laughs> I have no guess what just womp womp <laughs> thanks Anna maybe we're going to Mario Beast later <laughs> like you're never supposed to have a time over 20 years with a cat where your mental health is not the best exactly Toriana I've taken care of her for 20 years in all of my videos I'm super affectionate with her she's super loved she's super happy no no that that's the sad and sick thing about pets even when they're mistreated, they love their like master. And that's God awful. Okay. She was not happy. She was in pain. And she was trying to tell you for a long time that she was in pain, but you just kept putting out handfuls of treats. You could care less that she was in pain or to even find out what was wrong with her. 
You neglected your animal. So just because you sat there selfishly, like hugging your pet on your videos means nothing. It was done selfishly for you. You never did what you needed to do to take care of those cats. So don't tell me like there's never like pe nobody's perfect. Give me a break. Like you, the people who are being like causing this outrage and bullying over this think they're doing any better. Give me a break. Hella better. She's so dumb. You really think people live like that and put their pets through the conditions that yours went through and still go through? Give me a break. You're filthy. Absolutely filthy. Take care of your animals. They can't take care of themselves. If they could have, they would have cleaned up the fucking villa just to not have to live like that. <laughs> In SoCal, FFG's behavior would mean war. Who are these people? They scare the shit out of me. I'll make an example of her. Don't worry. Go fuck yourself. Do not worry. <laughs> oh, the smug. I'll make an example of her. How's that working out? You stupid ass. <laughs> Have you made an example out of me yet? Your joke, Chantal. Bye, Callie. It's not up to people to monitor if I take my vet cat to the vet every six months. You don't come at people with torches because they don't take their cat to the vet every six months. She's an elderly cat. She's an elderly cat. So regardless if I brought her to the vet and the vet said, she has kidney failure because I would have said right then and there, euthanize her. I'm not letting her suffer like FFG is doing to BBJ and like she did to her dogs. I'm not. You're so full of shit. Ironically, she was only an early kidney. Uh, what, like it's not even stage one. It's a, what, early kidney. I forget the word. I'm sorry at the beginning. You know what I mean? And hasn't moved from there. No medication needed for BBJ's kidney. It was just a change of diet. She has the early kidney care food now. And renal, thank you. Oh, that <laughs> okay, yeah, the early renal food. And that's all it is. It's literally just a change in diet. And, you know, consistently letting her be fed and not starving her. That can't be good for the kidneys or anything else. I wouldn't do it. So you can villainize me and you can hate me all you want for my beliefs. But humane euthanasia is an effing thing. My cat is 21. OK, she's not going to have be the perfect uh, epitome of health at all. If you think that you're delusional and you need to grow up. So I really don't care what your opinion is. And no, I'm not nice to these people. So I don't care. Stay mad. Whatever. Hate me. Like I said, people have unsubscribed. I've lost 1200 subscribers. I don't care. I don't care. Good riddance. Good riddance. Because I don't want people, fake people in my life. I don't want it. And the whole she had to draw the hole for drama. BBJ was screaming in pain, screaming, really screaming, probably because she's terrified. Ironically, you just said that every time you tried to cut her nails, she would scream. But me saying that she was screaming as they pull the nails out of her skin, that was, what, exaggerating? You just said herself, even when her nails weren't long and embedded into her feet, she would scream when you tried to cut her nails. Yeah, she's not, she was not 21. She's not 21. That's ridiculous. Chantal's an exaggerator. By now, look, it's a year later. I'm sure she's 405 when she tells the story of you and your ugly mug what do you think literally i said this so many times in past videos all you have to do is go back for the receipts but now you don't care enough it's just a hate mug that's all it is so they don't care about the truth like i said all for drama all for views disgusting or disgusting people and you might be laughing now but you won't be later when you have to pay back all that money you made at all stop saying pay back unless it's going to youtube bitch it's not coming to you it's ridiculous absolutely ridiculous and you talk about we've seen the receipts nobody's seen the receipts it's over a year now everybody's just waiting to see you claim you took bbj to have her nails trimmed three months before you went to kuwait or something like that months before you went to kuwait okay i don't believe that i don't believe that 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 one receipt put up that one receipt you never could because you never took her to, to cut her nails ever since you went with roman l roman we all know it. You know it. But you were sitting there talking about the receipts to be found in your videos. Why? Because you doled out handfuls of treats. That's not a receipt. That's neglect. Yeah, baby, they're so brainless. It's like, I'm, I just, there's no point in talking about it. They try to find something to vex you about. It's not about these animals 100%. A bunch of weak hypocrites and they know they're not taking these animals to the vets like that. Exactly. Exactly. Guaranteed. There's a lot of perfectly fine pet owners who don't who don't take their cats to the vet every six months give me a break like so so pathetic. imagine again 
flexing that you were making 20 grand a month Give me a break. I'm not taking the cats to the vet. The cat is 21 years old. The cat is 35 years old. But give me a break. I'm not taking my cats to the vet. Ugh. She exaggerated and caught herself in a lie, actually, because she then said she screamed for a bit and then it stopped suddenly as it was a wave of relief that washed over her. Where's the lie? It's like the vet had said, that's why they weighed the benefits and the the what could possibly be negative, right? And they said, yeah, it's going to hurt pulling them out, but she was going to instantly feel a lot better. And that's what happened. That was her suddenly stopping screaming. When the last nail was pulled out of her foot, yeah, silence. She immediately felt better. What What is wrong with these people for real? She's a freaking pathetic. She emotionally manipulates her audience to get them riled up like that animal abuse shut up like she's so uh yeah i'd be screaming in pain too if i was in front anytime i held bbj to tr even touch her paws she would freak out even when her nails were not that long and i tried to cut them that's why i always bring her to the vet for that i uh, need to especially like the past while and what freaking cat is going to purr getting nails clipped thermometers up their butt vaccinations like seriously the cat's gonna scream exactly she's full of crab <laughs> doesn't matter moon owl none of your business goodbye like I said, I'm not I'm not entertaining. I'm not entertaining the dumbness of this whole thing over my cat's nails. It's not. I offered to take them to get clipped. She said no for the drama. Case closed. She's going to be sued and have to pay back every penny. So get ready. Again, paid back. <laughs> She's so delusional. Case closed. She's going to get sued. Insanity. Case closed. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Hmm. Hmm. I took my middle and I, I, I just love, I just love, love. I'm, I'm going to love, actually, once I find out that if, if this lawyer is going to help me, I'm going to love. I didn't want it before it was daunting, but I'm going to love going through all of those live streams right from the beginning and documenting every little bit of harassment, every little bit of creepy stalking, every little bit of hate against me. I don't think she understands what harassment is. <laughs> You're going to sit through the live streams and find all the harassment, girl. <sighs> well, we know you'll be sitting through them the second time if you had done that. <laughs> but what harassment do you think you're going to find in a fucking YouTube video? You're nuts. And you are going to, whenever you, you're not able to talk about me anymore, what are you going to do? Let's see what, what type of jobs FFG is going to get. Colbex Independent is hiring in the meat aisle. Oh using an animal God. for views if she was a good man I, i'll have to say job i had before youtube and currently what are you gonna do when your channel tanks because you're almost there have you thought about your next move because you're unemployable and you can barely move without getting winded person and actually cared for the welfare of that animal she do it in silence she's such a bitch my cats scream like they're on fire it's life i don't like seeing my doctor that woman. Oh, and she also tried to do a privacy complaint on me because she's pathetic. She doesn't like false striking. She always cries about false striking. She tried to put a, a privacy complaint on me for just mentioning. Um, remember in my live stream where I went to Juice Dudes and got the, the smoothie? And I said, if anyone knows any information about her, email me. She tried to make that a privacy complaint. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, I don't remember this the first time, but I never made a privacy complaint against her. Did not. Didn't fall through, did it? loser her entire channel is harassment her entire existence is harassment <laughs> like she's pathetic i'm sure you know i know i said i'm not going to talk about it but it is going to stop i'm not going to talk about it anymore i'm just going to do i'm going to be about all that action don't worry about yeah time. <laughs> about time. yeah you know Chantal, she is all about that action no talk all action we have never seen bbj in agony ever never Never, never. If she was so bad, how was she jumping up on the chair, moving around? The best job for FFG is to like cheer. No, but you remember when you were in Kuwait and the cat was stumbling down the stairs and people were really like up in arms about it? In I believe it was January. It was like right before she had come back. Uh, and people saw it happening on Pete's live stream. And yeah, limping down the stairs, like teetering from side to side. We now understand why it was the nails growing into the feet. But and people were like, Pete's, Pete's, the, the cat. And yeah, that the cat was shaking in pain. And he flipped out. We referenced this last night. He flipped the fuck out and like rage quit. 
He was throwing things around in the kitchen and stuff, being a real psycho, screaming around the cat who was already shaking in pain. That's Pete's. Shoes, dirty shoes, like toilet bowl. She should be a toilet bowl cleaner with her mouth <laughs> for all the crap she talks. Yeah. Her privacy can Girl, if I was, your husband would be in love with me. <laughs> Watch your mouth. It's amazing how karma works a year later. What about my privacy complaint? Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> yeah, you can't even speak English. I swear her, her audience is all a bunch of like idiot. Like really, they have no brains. I don't want to use uh, bad words, but they're not too bright. <laughs> They're all like curly. Not many can say they've had a cat that long. Exactly. Exactly. But Black Zillion, they don't see the stupid. You're right. You're right. I do vaguely remember that too. Pete's at one point picked up BBJ and like shook her in front of the camera like, see, see, she's fine. And she had been in pain. We could see. Hypocrisy. They're dumb. Like they literally berate me for she, her reasoning for rescuing BBJ is because she was rescuing, rescuing her from euthanasia. Even though maybe the cat needed to be euthanized, you don't know. I was going to bring her to the vet to determine if she's like what her health status was. And as you can see in the receipts, I offered to do it, but that gets overlooked because of drama. And oh, okay. That was not the slip. She almost said the end of life consultation thing there. No, now she, right now it's just checking her health. Why would you bring the cat to check her health on the day you're going to give her away? You're so anti-vet and anti-vet. Why suddenly take the cat to a vet to check her health? My God, you're clearly not taking her to check her health. You were taking her to end it. We know. That's why you had starved her. And oh my God, like, <sighs> this is so sad. It's so fucked. Pete's is a disgusting human being. Absolutely. Oops, sorry. I'm going to put that on the screen. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. And she's the one, I haven't euthanized her. She's the one who euthanized her dogs. So she's going to save BBJ from euthanasia when she has two dogs on her track record for euthanasia. Why are we villainizing euthanasia anyway? Like, it's ridiculous. Mind your business. Like, oh my God, in the same sentence, she didn't even take a breath there. She's villainizing me for euthanizing my two dogs. And then also says, why are we villainizing euthanasia? You, you're the one who just did in the same breath. You didn't even take a pause there. There wasn't even a comma there. Oh my God. She's batshit crazy. That sentence really lets you know it. You, you could not be stressed out about this by just minding your business. Plain and simple. <laughs> oh, I love whenever he, I love when people give me their money and I don't have to see the message. Thank you, baby. Oh my God. Animals have fur. It gets matted. Exactly. Exactly. She's using this cat. She's going to have this cat poked and prodded at just for views. I hope you guys are happy. She looks like. Fur gets matted, but not the way that your cat's fur was all matted all over its body. And at this point, again, remember, all that had been shaved was her butt. Because there was so much shit matted into the fur around her butt. They said that that could become dangerous when she couldn't poo anymore. You think that that's normal? Like she was going to tell her friends not to come to school tomorrow in her disguise. <laughs> Too bad you can't set a minimum limit for these super chats. You'd have to pay five. I know that would be so cool, but it adds up. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we'll go to the Maldives with all the hate money. Anyway. Girl, stop. <laughs> you're welcome. You're still alive. Yay, my toddler just laid down so I can sit and watch. Yeah, Sambi, I don't know for how long, but... Salah is such a good man. He is. Thank you, Lynn. He really is. He really is. She was low-key looking like pumped up kids. She's pathetic. She thinks she's funny. She thinks she's she thinks she's a riot. I hope she someone in her chat just said that me in my disguise, that stupid picture, what I looked like pumped up kicks. And she laughs as if the pumped up kick stream doesn't exist, and that's all her. Psychopath. Yeah, sociopath, psychopath. I don't fucking know, but she's one of the paths. That's for sure. She wears that disguise in, in court. Like seriously, when the when the judge sees her in that disguise, like, oh my God. Oh, I hope she saved some of that money she made. I hope so. 
Civil, civil litig litigation bees coming. Civil litigation bees incoming, like salt on oh. snails. She's <clears> exhausting. It's some of them like are repetitive. And you give them what they want when you respond. You should just blog with us like normal. If they don't get the attention they want, they slowly die. You're so right, Toriana. That's the plan. But I just wanted to, before I, before I never talk about this ugly runt ever again, this disgusting dingleberry, I want her to know that she's going to be sued for a lot of money. Or... <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. We know. It's all about the money. Money, money, money. She's mentioned money a lot more than she's mentioned BBJ. When is my court date? Oh, it already happened. That's what we were talking about it last night. It's why I don't cam up. I've been in lockup for like the better part of a year now. There, the secret's out. Put away criminally, one of the two. Or maybe a bit of both. We'll see. And your audience helps you get there with their added harassment. I love it. But no animal cruelty, only human cruelty. <laughs> Thanks, Ambie. It is freezing today. Yeah, it is. Very cold. Anyone in the mood for goat cheese and crackers? Oh, do I have anything in the cup? I'm checking what I... I did some groceries yesterday. <laughs> oh, no. I need to put this ground beef. I have halal ground beef because I'm going to make... Um, I'm going to make... <laughs> Babe, I love when you sing that. You change your passion for glory. Babe, can, I want to see you dance the dubka. It was so cute in that video. <laughs> You're so cute. Be like FD Kaya. All have unhealthy emotional reliance upon their pets. They're completely textbook. This behavior is well documented in certain individuals. Keep the subject changed. Yeah. So moving on, literally to a different arc. It's crunch time. It's down to everything. This has been a horrifying horrifying month home and I never want to come back here ever again I swear <laughs> and then she came back and she had another shitty time and I never want to come back here I swear she'll be back again I swear I hate this place I hate living here and I want to leave <laughs> think about it hold on wait a minute two trips back to Canada since she's lived in Kuwait First time, BBJ Rescue. Second time, <laughs> Spoopgate. <gasps> Come back to Canada. It's when we get our greatest arcs. Holy shit. So, thank you. <sighs> Bigger and better things. Yeah. Baby. I can't wait to come see you. And we can travel and live. Oh, I forgot. The first trip back was also the Red Room pictures, not just the BBJ thing. Holy crap. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thailand was the, the whatever she found, corn with a capital P on the TV that was clearly not from the previous occupants of the hotel room. It was Scatman. <laughs> and they were fighting and he was gone. Oh, yes. Good times. Every time one of them travels, it's shit. <laughs> but not the kind he wants. Happy. Girl, we get it. You hate Canada. <laughs> I hate I hate this weather. I hate, and I know I hate the heat, but I, I don't know. I feel like I'm changing. Like I'm starting to like the heat more. I love the weather in Kuwait a lot more. Will I like it in the summer? I'd rather be in the AC than have to worry about the ice and snow and freezing and yeah. Would you guys ever live in Canada? No, I don't want to live in America, honestly, in the long run. I'd like to be able to come back and forth with Salah as we need to. But as for living in North America, that's not the goal. Like long term. Not yours, maybe. <laughs> vlog arc, food arc, vlog arc, food arc, husband arc, Kuwait arc, moving on from offensive statements we said in the past arc, glow up arc and weight loss arc, also faith arc. Yes, Soriana. <clears throat> Better sleep with your eyes open. <laughs> I have mace beside my bed. After Ramadan, we'll go to Umrah, Mecca, and Saudi Arabia. <gasps> We'll go Umrah to Mecca and Saudi Arabia. Yes, baby. <laughs> what does mace next to your bed do? Okay. Honest to God. The sound that that fucking uh, CPAP machine makes, you wouldn't even hear anything. When do you get the chance to make a move for the fucking pepper spray with your slow reflexes? <laughs> Inshallah, I can't wait. If you ever complain about heat in Kuwait, we will remind you of this. Yes, please do. 
I don't know what it's going to be like in the summer. Good to know. That's <laughs> illegal in Ontario. I have to court bees as well. This is the the foodie beauties have enough of your crap arc. But it's not going to give you the time of day online because you know what? You need my attention. 100% they need us. Um, yeah. <laughs> Learning Arabic art. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I bought one of those TikTok Bluetooth remotes that let you scroll through using the remote instead of your fingertips. So lazy, but good. Bluetooth remotes. I've never seen that. So lazy. <laughs> if you're a huge TikTok scroller, I guess that would help. I need you, Chantal. Yes, yes. <laughs> Babe, you make me laugh. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how much? He makes us laugh too, <laughs> but probably not in the same way. <laughs> Thank you.